Um, We're doing questions about our move to England. Where are we moving? I can be quite charming. Mm. Freedom! <laughs> Piss sticks. And welcome to our YouTube channel! Cheers! I'm on the whiskey and water. Caroline's got that crispy, Oyster classy... Bay. What is that, Cab Sauv? Sauvignon Blanc? Cab Cabernet Sauvignon's red wine. That is red wine, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a wine person. Man of many talents, wine is not Not everyone can have taste. Um, We're doing questions about our move to England. We also got Popeyes again. We it's had, just easy, isn't it? Well, we had Popeyes for the first time last, last time. week, literally having this, and it was so good. But they've forgotten my scones, my biscuit. Yeah. I was so excited because it's really good when you dip it in the mash and gravy. Devo, I got a chicken and bacon cheese sandwich. Because in America, they call chicken burgers chicken sandwiches. Spicy chicken sandwich with cheese and bacon also, and then I got some wings. Because you're going to have to get used to saying that that's a chicken burger. Otherwise, people are going to think you're going to want some sliced bread with chicken in it. Missy! I don't know what a dog's doing. She's being weird. Um, this is a baby. No, 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 no. Good girl. Lie down, sweetheart. Lie down. She's like an inch from your sandwich. Yeah. One caveat, we do not normally eat in the bed. Uh, it's a bit weird, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's giving me the ick. Like, we now need to clean the bed sheets tomorrow. Yeah, we're committed to the content, and we haven't eaten dinner yet, so... Yeah, we just wanted to, like, show different rooms, you know what I mean? Like, spice it up. Baby is going to growl the whole way through this, just to warn you. Where are we moving, and will we be close to Caroline's family? We're moving to Surrey. Southwest We're literally of moving in, moving in close to my family, moving in with my mom. <laughs> yeah, we'll be. So we'll be way, very close. Too close for comfort to Caroline's mom, uh, and very close to the rest of her family. Yeah, my sister lives like one town over. My brother lives in South London. I'm all about saving money, so we'll, yeah. we'll live with her mom. Like, I thought, we, I literally said to my mom, I was like, we'll only be a couple of months. Like, you know, we don't want to take over your house because she is in her 70s, she's single, and she's just in her routine. And she literally, she's like, well, no, how long is it gonna to take to get a mortgage? You just stay for as long as you need. And she's buzzing about us coming, because yeah. also, my mom doesn't really cook, and I'll, she'll have dinner on the table every yeah. night after work. I'm measuring how long we're gonna stay there in, in years, not months. <laughs> I don't think she'll have us that long. Although you never know. I can be quite charming. Mm, can you? What made you want to move? I thought Kyle didn't want to go permanently. What was the conversation like? Caroline, for the last couple of years, has like been thinking about it and, and talked about it. And it was me who, at the end of the day... Who size that pickle? That is massive. It was me who, after a series of events that involved, you know, kids, people dying, and like just a whole bunch of political bullshit stuff, where I was like, you know what? This is not the country that I, you know, signed up to serve for. It's not, it feel like I'm going to be able to maximize our potential as a family here and, and get all the things that we want out of life. So, it, uh, you know, I don't I don't know when it was, sometime last year, middle of last year. It was in March. Year. So the thing that, like, broke the camel's back for us was there was a shooting in Tennessee at a primary school. And I, obviously, like, for every mum, this is, like, a really big thing for us. But it was, like, for some reason, like, this one really broke me and I had, a, I had an absolute breakdown. I just came into the room and I was like, Kyle... I just can't do this anymore. I can't stay here. I can't have our kids here. I actually, I've never sobbed so hard where I could hardly speak. And I said to Carl, I really don't want this to break, ruin our marriage. And you didn't even hesitate within, like, it was like, ruin a marriage. And you were like, well, why would it? I'm like, we're all going. Like, we're going. Like, we're done. Yeah. And so you were already sort of like done anyway. Yeah, I was getting, I was, it was wearing on me for sure. And the other thing about it is like, it's the same thing with the permanent question. Like, we moved up here, and, you know, some things were great, some things didn't, weren't what we expected, so it was like, hey, we're going to go someplace where we think our family as a unit will thrive more. And it's the same thing in the UK with living there permanently. Like, do we think we're going to live there permanently right now? Yeah, but if things don't pan out we'll get the way that we're we hoping, like... Who knows? Years from now, it doesn't mean we're going to come screaming back to America. It doesn't mean we're going to, like, absolutely kill ourselves to stay in England. Like, it's just wherever our family is going to do the best, that's where we want to be. So, yeah. right now, we think it's the UK, and we are fortunate enough to be able to have that option. 
So it's taken from March and we're moving in like May. So it's taken just over a year. I moved here with literally like one suitcase and we're leaving with three kids, a dog. Like we've got a whole house. This is the second house we've owned in the US. Things are a little bit more complicated and cost Carl needs a visa. When are we moving? You just answered that. Oh. The summer. I'm going in May. Kyle's coming out. So if you finish your school like mid-June. Beginning of July. But Kyle put his visa thing for July. So Kyle and Sophie are going to come out after me. Probably about four weeks after me. It's like the longest I'm a, we're sort of comfortable with me being away from Sophie. She Hashtag helicopter parent. <laughs> I'm the mum. I'm way important. But Sophie really wants to finish school. She's in pre-K, which is pre-kindergarten. So it's kind of like your last year of nursery. So it's a good year for her to leave because everyone's leaving pretty much. So they do like a little graduation and sort of stuff. So. But she's also old enough to recognize that she, like, she'd be leaving her friends in the middle of the year and that would be weird. So Yeah, we don't want to like pull her out. Why did you move to the USA from Dubai and not the UK? I was still in the Marine Corps when she moved here. So legally I had to come back. Yeah, like if we wanted to be together. Yeah. I couldn't get stationed in the UK like on a whim and we were engaged at the time. So she had to come here. Maybe for us to be together choice. for any period of time. I'm just using my burp cloth. Kyle has now been out of the military for like a year and a half. So we're not tied to that anymore. Freedom! <laughs> has Kyle been to the UK before? Kyle's been twice. Twice briefly. Very briefly. One time was like, we didn't have kids. It was like Christmas time. We, did, we didn't like live life. We like went and did... I like went to John Lewis in Oxford Street at Christmas time. Like second time it was for a medical reason because Sophie was in hospital. So we spent like the whole time in hospital. So he's not really experienced English life. Nope. He's <laughs> going in blind. <laughs> Maybe it's a, the best thing. But I go home for quite long periods of time. I go home for like six weeks, four weeks, two weeks. So he knows like through my eyes kind of and like... You know, we talk every day when I'm at home and he knows like the things that we do and things like that. And obviously we have a relationship with my family and stuff in England. Do the kids have to have visas? What is Kyle's? Kids are have birthright citizenship. So they have passports. So it's really easy to do. Same as the US. Yeah. So, and they have the US one, obviously. It's so easy to do. You literally just put in to Google, like applying for a passport from overseas. And I just have to prove all of my stuff and my parents to my parents father's birth certificate my mother's birth certificate my birth certificate super easy it actually comes quicker than the u.s one i have the option for a work visa or a spousal visa yeah his work we offered. The yeah we want the spousal visa so, so that we i'm have not little, like, tied, tied to anything it's more flexible i'm just dipping my burger into my mashed potatoes popeyes if you're listening we'll keep doing this yeah popeyes I love you. Are we going to buy a house in England? Or are you selling this house? This is our second home we've owned. We owned a house in Virginia, which we bought with a VA loan, which is like a military mortgage, where essentially you don't have to put a down payment down. But when we sold our house in Virginia, we did have equity, which we then put into this house. Massachusetts is not the best state to be a landlord. It's like there's a lot of like squatter rights and stuff. So it just overcomplicates things. It just makes it so we're just it's cutting and drying. And also what we need to do is when we get to the UK, we don't really know because I've been out of the UK for 10 years now, like having a mortgage, we just need like all the money that we know that we have so we can go to a mortgage broker and be like, you know, what are our options? <laughs> we'll get it, we'll buy it. <laughs> we'll buy, we'll buy a house, house my mom rush. kicks us out. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to miss in the USA? Well, now I'm going to miss Popeye. <coughs> well, I tell you what I'll miss. I, I just want to say, I've only been here five years, so I don't think I'm overly attached to anything like mega. His wings are kind of spicy. Oh. That's why I'm a little sniffly. Interesting. Sorry for the mic. Would you like the burp cloth? <laughs> yeah, please, actually. No, I'm joking. Why? You're already using it to wipe your hands. Oh, but are you going to put your sweat on it? That's disgusting. Air conditioning and plugs in the bathroom to do my hair. I haven't done crisscross applesauce on the floor in front of a mirror to do my hair in so long. <laughs> the air conditioning one's stressing Carl out already. Yeah, that's, that goes without saying for me. <laughs> I promised him I'm gonna buy him like one of those little units. So one of my big ones is like, the corporate culture of the US is very beneficial to us as the consumer in some mm. cases. So like a lot of things are open very late across the board. I know you guys have Tesco. I've heard that a thousand times. I get it. Tesco's is open late. But like in general, restaurants, Target, like the pharmacy, Target. all that stuff's open late. So the convenience of that on top of the opulence of like 
the gym that we go to. The gym that yeah. we go to has everything I could possibly want. But there's and she's just, like, there's oh, we have this space. David... David Lloyd. David but Lloyd. the gym's here because there's so much space. There are these... They are like... Yeah, they're They incredible. look like a military base. The, I looked up David Lloyd and like some of the nice ones look like a glorified YMCA, if that. Oh, so that's one big one. Sports. American sports. I get it. You guys have Sky Sports or whatever it is. That focuses on English sports. And I'm ready to buy into English sports. Like, I'll get a chess tat and I'll go to the next town over and get in a bar fight for whichever, you know football team I'm supporting. I'm, I'm from Surrey, there's not many bar fights. <laughs> well, I'll figure, I'll find one. But a I, lot think of you'll get, I think you'll get into rugby. I live sure. quite close to Twickenham. Do you want me to finish? Oh, God. <laughs> People say you talk too much. Well, I was just trying to, like, you know... Yeah, and I want to hear about it. All right. I've lost my train of thought now. Maybe we should cut this bit. <laughs> Roll. Well, you you oh, the teams that I follow and that I love are very much based on like East Coast US time. To Do highlights. Go to bed late, watch highlights, wake up super early, it'll be something like that. I think those were the two big ones that I was thinking about with Aircon. Carl thinks it's absolutely hilarious that British people, <laughs> we all have the same sentence we say. Oh God. It's only all four days a year. Fucking shut up. No, it's not. So when Kyle came over when Sophie was in hospital, we had, he was over for maybe like a week, 10 days, something like that. It was hot every single day. What won't you miss in the US? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna counteract your what you will miss. To, I'm gonna say what I won't miss. I think because you're American, you are brought up with this business and this corporate, everything is a business. I won't miss that the UK still have, and of course, you know, in recent times, things have become more corporate, but there's still an element of things can just be nice to be nice. And not everyone's trying to make money off just little things like- I won't miss that at all. You just said you miss like corporate America. Yeah, parts of it for the convenience. Right, so it's like- It doesn't mean that I don't appreciate like, we'll a mom miss, and pop shop Yeah, and like we'll like miss- I think that's, well, that's like, great. You'll miss it, but we won't miss it. It's, it's like a counter. Yeah, I'm a big support local businesses type of person. Yeah. But just like the smaller things in life. It's just yeah. a lot slower. Of course, like it's not like it used to be when we were kids, but you know. I won't miss most of the stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, like. Yeah. Thing is, it's like, well, obviously we're moving to a first world country. Yeah, it's, like, it's going to be most of the Although stuff. Although Kyle asked me a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, he went, won't you miss avocados? I was like. <laughs> Avocados. No, I asked you if there will be avocados. No, you said you well, you're going to miss avocados. And I, I believe. Said, and I said, Kyle, no, I'd literally just said that my mum eats avocado like you an did. Egg. Yeah, and I've I had forgotten about that. Well, it's I mean to we be fair, avocados. I'm relatively well traveled for an American, but it's just like all of our avocados come from Mexico. Mexico. Well, our avocados come from Spain. Come from Spain. Yeah, and I hadn't thought about that. So yeah, that's, I'll take that one on the chin. That was an embarrassing moment for me. But um, <laughs> oh my god, it went straight on the girls' group chat. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. Obviously. What is your biggest fear moving? I'm scared that you're not going to be happy. Oh, that's not my biggest fear. I've told you a thousand times, I'm a very simple person. You are. If I can, like, do things that I want to do once in a while and hang out with the children in a place that's conducive to that and feels like my own space, I'm happy. I've spent my entire adult life moving around. I have a long-term fear about moving. All of my concerns are short term. Yeah, you're scared of like the physical aspect of like it's the house, getting on the plane, all that stuff. The job, what will our financial situation be over there? Like man problems. I'm just over here like PayPal in form. Just a lot. It's just a lot. Just I'm, I know I'll be happy over there. Yeah. Give me my golf clubs, a snowboard, and an Xbox. And we don't have friends here that we like go out with all the time. I've just become friends with the mums at school. But like, I think it's gonna be really nice. And I think Kyle's going to really benefit from the fact that we're with each other. My friends at home think it's absolutely wild that me and Kyle are together, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, 24-7. Like, my girlfriends are like, oh my god, I would kill my husband if I was with them all day. Yeah, <laughs> I, except, I like I saw it, your though. But me and Kyle are together a lot, so I think it's going to be really nice that Kyle is going to have, mm. like, my brother and my brother-in-law and, like, their group of friends. And then I'm going to have my friends. I just think, overall, we're, fe we're feeling positive. Like, if we weren't feeling positive, we wouldn't be moving, would we? Yeah, but I think it's going to be great. I didn't need any convincing for those doubters, haters out there. Yeah, it's funny because, like, when I moved here, it was like, oh, my God, what a beautiful love story. She's moving for a man. But it seems like the narrative is, like, that I'm dragging him. Like, I'm taking him as a hostage to England, <laughs> which I'm not. 
No, and like you said the story about you crying, but like, and I'm not saying I control our situation, but at the end of the day, I, it was me who was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get yeah. out of here. Um, you told your mum within like a day that we were going. Yeah. You were like, well, we're, like, we're going, we're amazed, well, there's no point in like, you know, not waiting. So a lot of people are very concerned about your parents. I think people just have to understand that when you're in an international relationship and marriage, someone is always going to like miss out. You know, my family have missed out. Kyle's parents have, you know, been here for the birth of all of our children and like they were very sad. I think they are more understanding as like time's gone on and they've like digested it and they're spending a lot more time with the kids to like really soak in these moments. But like there's planes. I think your mum is going to be your mum. She's already like looking up all these gardens that she can go and yeah, visit. Yeah, my mum like, is she's secretly gonna, stoked. Yeah, like she's going to go to Hampton Court and like the Chelsea Flower Show, like all these things. I think Kyle's mum will come for because Kyle's mum's going to retire soon. So I think she'll come for like periods of time and stuff. Guys, I really messed up. And when we were starting this, I dropped our very expensive microphone in my glass of wine. <laughs> and I think I broke it. What are we talking about? Um, my parents. Yeah, my parents understand making hard decisions for family, so. I think our reasonings are quite valid. It's not like we're doing it on a whim. Eating my skin. <laughs> sucked on my skin. We need a Kyle series in the UK. Is he excited to try all of the weird food, like black pudding and scotch eggs? I'm all for the, what did you call it? Kyle versus the Kingdom Kyle series? Versus the yeah. Kingdom. Oh, I'm just trying to think of something that's like KK. Be careful, don't make it three Ks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm also very excited to get more involved in the social media, but specifically about the food. I will say I'm very excited about trying your guys' unseasoned, war-rationed foods. Uh, <laughs> but I will say this one thing. You will not convince me to start Smack. jamming all of my foods together and putting them all in one bite on one forkful. So the first time I saw Carly at a roast dinner, he was eating it like satellites and he put the gravy like No, I he don't put the gravy like no, no, no. on the side. Things that are like, meant to go together, I put together. But you're never gonna convince me. Like the gravy goes all over the plate and then you take a little bit of everything and you shove it in. Again, that's gravy. Got and, it. And when we had what did we have yesterday? Oh sausage and mash. And he was eating his I, was okay, like, I won't answer it. Oh, no, it wasn't sausage and mash with ham, egg, and chips. And I was like, Carl, what you need, the perfect bite, it has a little bit of everything on the fork. Never convince me is that, like, if I take a piece of roast with some potatoes and then I throw a bunch of fucking peas on top of it. He means, like, a bit of roast, of it, he means the meat. Yeah. And then I throw a bunch of fucking peas on top of it, that that bite is going to be better than if I had just done the meat, the potatoes, and the gravy. It's the same like Americans tend to have their salads on the side. We have our salads. I'm I'm a big salads believer. On the plate. I eat my vegetables first because then I want to enjoy the rest of my meal. No, you just mash it all up together and then you don't know. Yeah, but then that the vegetables just pollute the rest of the meal. You're not going to tell me that if you had a Definitely. filet mignon steak. Do you know what? I actually did this. In, your mum took us to a really fancy steak restaurant and I took my filet mignon, my fillet, and I put a bit of mashed potato on the fork and your, your mum say, oh, that's... It's a categorical embarrassment. Yeah. Like, they would eat the... I would just put, like, my steak, I'd put some mash on it, dip it in a bit of the sauce, shove it in. Maybe. They're not prepared together, so they're not meant to be eaten in the same bite. You're not cooking your peas in the pan with... Or in the... Whatever you're... Yeah, but I didn't put... In the, yeah, in the pan in the oven... With the roast. Just because it's not cooked in the same dish doesn't mean it doesn't belong together. It's a mouth. pretty good indicator though. No, that's not a no. I don't agree with that statement. You're not. That's really not, that's really loud. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Jesus, Kyle. It's just an ice cube. In a very loud tin cup. Yeah, well, we don't have any nice glass ones. We have nice glassware, Kyle. I'm literally holding a it's purple... It's a wine glass. I'm yeah, we have whiskey. whiskey glasses that you've got that you said you wouldn't throw away and you'd bring into England. Why I don't have any whiskey glasses. What's that? It's one that's on the edge, on the corner. What's wrong with that one? It's annoying. It just You're still around. making the noise. What do you want me to... The ice cube moves when I hold it. Oh, the dog. Everyone wants to know if the dog's coming. Everybody's been asking us if the dog's coming. Every coming video for six I months. load on TikTok, on TikTok yeah, the, dog's the dog's coming. And we're using a pet service called Pet Relocation. We think, we haven't shopped around, but yeah.
if you want to do the shopping, Kyle, please feel free to take that on. We're using a really great service called Pet Relocation. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to do it. So what, like... I've already done all the research into alternative ways. You googled for three seconds sitting on the floor in the living room. No, I looked a lot doing. more before oh, that. Oh, oh. Anyway, we're using this great service called Pet Relocation. We think essentially she's going on a cargo plane and these people take the dog from, it's from door to door service. So essentially she's just going to be there. She's going to like turn up and go to <laughs> There's going to be a knock on the door and there's going to be Missy. Missy is a rescue. She's 11 years old. 11 years old. We are a she's bit 12. nervous. You don't know if she's 12. She's at least 12. You told me the other day she was 11. I can't keep up. No, I said 12. making up at this point. No, she's at least 12. Because okay. I got her in 2015, which was nine years ago. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. She's at least 11. I guess. This baby's angry tonight. I don't know if she needs a bottle of water. I think she's some formula. I think I'm in. I thought we could finish up with a funny thing. What is your favourite English weird words that we use? I do love bits and bobs. I hate that you guys call something jammy dodgers. Well, that's a biscuit. Yeah, but it's a, it's words. Kyle thinks that our biscuits are funny. Like when you go to the supermarket <sighs> and you've got funny named things, the hobnobs. Yeah, bits and bobs is a good one. I you asked me something the other yesterday from Love Island. Bollocks. Yes, because... You're like, what is it? what's it in context? No, it was, what's the actual, like definition of it because somebody said like what a load of bollocks Bo but then someone else said we took a bollocksing we took a bollocking we took a bollocking today a bo and then she goes it's a ball bag and i was like so she just said we took a ball bagging <laughs> that didn't make sense to me but bollocks is a great word you were like do you guys use that word a lot and i was like yeah you've you never use it yeah so i have no i have no yeah. context for how much normal I don't people swear in front use of the kids. <laughs> yeah okay bell end to be deeply disturbing. <laughs> That's a really gross description of something. I don't like that you guys just call everything rolls. Sausage roll, kitchen roll, glue roll. Oh, wait till you find out how many words we have for a... Somebody commented for, that, yeah, I, I, I how don't How many words we have it. for a bread roll? That's gonna be, that, that'll be in Kingdom, Carl versus the Kingdom. Um, anyone has any suggestions on what we could do with Carl? So we've, anyway, we've got about 11 weeks, so I'm sure we'll bloody harp on about this until then. Being pregnant was my whole personality before, and now my whole personality is going to be, oh my god, I'm moving to England! Yeah. <laughs> bothered! Huh? Bothered. What's that? Like, I'm not bothered. I'm not... It doesn't oh. bother me. Oh, bothered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really love the word knackered. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, one. it's good to you know. Oh my god, I'm so knackered. You could do a good ah. I'm sure when I meet some English lads, that yeah, I'll hear gonna, some really good. You're gonna ones learn all sorts of words that I'm excited about. Because I'm from the south as well. It's like a whole different language up north. Yeah. All right, bye guys. Bye. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Loud eyes. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Carl thinks it's really funny to end our YouTube videos with him being awkward. <laughs> No, you started that. Did I? Yeah. In one of the first videos, you were like, if we just do like a funny distance awkward hug, oh. that could be the ending. Because the well, beginning decided, is, welcome to I've, her. I've decided I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, so you don't even want that level of touch. I was going to say, maybe we could hug. A real one. Wow, okay. My love language is not touch. I bet it's just like squished in. I bet that didn't even work. We're going to have to do it all over again. Yeah. <laughs> If it didn't, that was good chat, you know? Good yeah. time. It's a good evening, actually.